Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, I'm going to show you folks how to get random numbers in the FX8200 AU. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to be doing is switching on the calculator and we want to go into the calculate mode right here. And once you're in there, what you need to do is click on the catalog button and go down to probability. We're going to press EXE. We're going to keep going down. So we've got factorial, permutation, combination, and then right at the bottom there, we're going to see random number. Now, if you press equals, this random number thing is going to pop up here in the uh, typing area here. And then if you press equals again, you are going to start getting random numbers. Now, with random numbers, they're generally bit, um, a three digit random numbers. Now, as you can see, this is um, written as a fraction. And if I keep going like this, all of my numbers are coming as fractions. And the reason that it's coming as fractions is because if I go into settings and go into calc settings and go into input output, right now this is actually set as maths input and maths output. So I'm just going to change that to maths input to decimal output. And once I do that, going back, and if I try a random number again, I'm going to go into catalog go down to probability and I'm going to go down to random number and as you can see now I'm getting decimal values so random number here is going to be three decimal place but what if I want a random number between 1 to 10 for example now, if I want random numbers between 1 to 10 what I need to do is go into catalog go down to probability again press EXE and we're going to keep going down until we see random number and there's one more after random number which is the random integer so we're going to click on random integer and we want a random number between 1 to 10 so we're going to click on 1 now we've got to put a comma there now to get a comma it is above the um, it's the shift of the right bracket so we're going to go shift and the right bracket and we're going to get a comma and then we're going to put a 10 and we're going to close the bracket so what we've actually asking the calculator to do here is give us a random number between 1 to 10 and if i press exe now as you can see i'm getting random numbers between 1 to 10. so folks that's basically how you get random numbers uh, between 1 to 10 and if you want just a random number with th three decimal places then you would use the random hash um, function there. Cool, that's about it for this video.